the run times have always supported working with disconnected data. But you've had to write your own code to take a map and its layers offline. In last year's June release, we introduced the offline map task to help simplify this. We're going to start with the on-demand workflow. It's one of the patterns we have for taking maps offline. If you've ever used Collector, it will look pretty familiar. We start with our map, and we need to specify the area we want to use offline. We can then configure some options, like the scale we want to work at, and if we want to include attachments or not. We then generate and download our map area. And as this runs, it's looking at all the layers in our map. It's making requests to sync-enabled feature services to generate mobile geodatabases. It's calling export tiles for raster and vector tile services. And when the data is generated, it's downloaded along with the map and any other metadata needed to use it offline. Well, that finishes. If we take a look at the code, we start with the offline map task, and we create it with the map that we're using. We then create and set our parameters. And with those parameters, we create our generate offline map job. The job is executed asynchronously, and when it completes successfully, we can use our map in the app. And that's it. If you've ever had to write this code before, you'll notice that this is a lot less now. Back in our app, we can see our job is finished. Our data's been clipped to the extent that we requested, but other than that, our map is exactly the same. So this is one pattern for taking your map offline. But what if you have a really large workforce and you need to scale for thousands of users, or you want to build a more simplified user experience in your app? We have a second pattern called pre-planned to help with this. With the pre-planned workflow, rather than the user having to make decisions about the data they want to take offline or you having to write this code in your app, a map author or a field crew manager can make these decisions ahead of time. These areas can be packaged once, the packaging can be scheduled to run in off-peak hours, and then the packages can be downloaded and used by many users. One of the options for creating these areas and for automating the process will be with the Python API. And here we have the simple script that I use to create my areas based off of the bookmarks in my map. Back in my app, we can see we have a more streamlined user experience, where all I need to do now is select the area I want to use and download it. And we can see that this is going to happen much faster now because we're just downloading the data since it's already been prepackaged. And when the download completes, I can synchronize it to get any of the latest changes since the packaging. Looking back at the code, again, we use our offline map task. But this time, we get a list of the map areas related to our map. When the download button was clicked, we use the selected area to create our job and then run it to do the download. So just a quick look at some of the enhancements we've made to working with maps. Thank you.